Electrical signature analysis is different from any other portable reliability testing technology as it evaluates the entire motor system including incoming power, the motor electrically and mechanically, and the driven load. The motor itself is a transducer eliminating the need to attach sensors to the motor or the driven load. Instead, voltage and current probes are attached on a portable basis or a connection box can be ins permanently installed. This connection is made at the motor control center or other convenient location between the output of the starter or motor drive and the motor. This chart illustrates the capabilities of electrical signature analysis. Green indicates that a developing fault can be detected at an early stage and trended for predictive maintenance purposes. Yellow indicates a fault can be detected but may be difficult to trend or cannot be detected at its earliest stage. The purpose of this demonstration video is to provide you with a short overview of the capabilities of ESA, demonstrate how the data is collected, and then a short review of the comprehensive report. A motor system is made up of incoming power, including the transformer, the control system, such as a starter or motor drive, the motor, and in this case, it's an AC induction motor, but could also be a DC motor, generator, or wind turbine. The motor is connected to the coupling, which is then connected to the load. The process is what the machine is doing, such as generating a vacuum, processing a fluid, etc. The motor system is complex, and even a small problem within a subcomponent can cause the entire system to either run poorly or not at all. The ADPOL 2 is connected to the motor system either using portable current and voltage probes or a permanently installed connection box. Here is a picture of the portable probes. They are available in a wide selection of voltage and current ranges. The AllSafe Pro is installed between the starter motor drive and the motor. Current transformers are provided and you can see them installed in this bucket. When the bucket is closed, the connection cable between the instrument and the AllSafe Pro is attached, allowing the technician to collect motor data without opening up the electrical panel. This provides several advantages over portable connections. User safety, speeds up the number of motors that can be tested each day, and eliminates probe connection errors during data collection. Once the test is started, the instrument takes 60 seconds to collect the required data. Using the ADPOL2 Bluetooth interface, we can control the instrument up to 10 meters away. This image is showing the software in virtual instrument mode and all instrument functions can be re controlled remotely. Data from the portable data collector can be transferred to the computer either by the Bluetooth wireless interface or by accessing the files from the SD memory card. In order to do the analysis, motor nameplate information is required. Rated voltage, current, running speed, and horsepower. This information can be entered after the data has been collected. Besides nameplate information, there are additional fields that may be required for complete system analysis. However, for the initial analysis, only nameplate information of voltage, current, running speed, and horsepower is required. Here are the additional fields. Mechanical information includes gearbox, belted, and bladed information can be entered here. Motor efficiency can also be entered as the software will provide a calculated motor efficiency for AC induction and DC motors. Rotor bar, stator slot, current transformer, and voltage transformer information can also be entered. Additionally, bearing information can be entered for both the motor and the driven load. After the software has completed the preliminary analysis, 
a short results page is provided. This page uses red and yellow colors to indicate what part of the system is in alarm. It is important that the user now go into the spectra to verify the following software findings. That line frequency, running speed, and pull pass frequencies are correct. This process is quick and easy to do. After this has been completed, then a word report can be generated. The word report is six pages in length and the user can append as necessary. The first page is what we call the manager's page. It states the bottom line call for the motor system. The additional pages are what the engineer or technician might review as it provides the details that support the summary report. Because ESA evaluates incoming power, the motor, and the driven load, it will improve the detection phase of your predictive maintenance program. The philosophy of the detection phase is to rapidly survey as many machines as possible. The detection phase identifies potential machine system failures. The faster these surveys can be performed, the more machines can be surveyed, resulting in a more effective program. In a mature program, only 2 to 3 percent of machines may exhibit a change in condition that should be investigated. Therefore, the faster the detection survey can be performed, the more machines can be placed into the PDM program. ESA is an excellent detection instrument. Thank you for viewing this short presentation about electrical signature analysis, and please go to our website, www dot altestpro.com for further information.